Sell your coaching expertise through books. This method of selling your coaching expertise involves publishing books in a narrow range of niches. You're not going to publish a book that claims to talk about everything and anything related to your industry. That's not going to work. The narrower your range of topics, the better. You get a much better opportunity to highlight your expertise. In your book, you address key questions involved in your niche. For example, you know how to brew beer at home. If you write a book on home brewing, you can talk about ideal conditions for brewing as well as common problems people encounter that prevent them from brewing amazing beer. These questions are predictable. They don't come out of left field, and it's very easy to control the flow and shape of the expert information and opinion that you're sharing in your book. The name of the game is to showcase your knowledge and build up your personal expert brand. This book is really your business card. It tells the world that you know what you're talking about. People only need to read what you have to say on certain topics to be shown in no uncertain terms that you walk the walk. Advantages of Coaching Through Books The primary advantage of this coaching channel is that it's completely passive. You only work once to compile or write the book. Maybe you had the book ghostwritten at ozkey.org or other low-cost yet high-value writing services. Regardless of how you got the book made, you only do it once. The good news is that book can sell many times over in the course of a year. In fact, there are many book authors on Amazon Kindle who make tens of thousands of dollars off a book that they have written several years ago. Remember, they only worked once to publish that book, but every single year, they're making all this money. You can do the same with books covering subjects within your expertise. As I mentioned earlier, when you publish a book, you stand out from the crowd. You have to remember that in any place, there are likely to be experts in the same specialization as you. However, not all of them can write a book. Maybe they don't have the time or the discipline to do it. However, you have come up with a book, and this gives you a tremendous competitive advantage. Each book must be set up properly for it to benefit you optimally. What am I talking about? Each book should promote your author website. If you don't have one, put one up because this is the website that highlights your expertise and expert status. Every book you produce must have a link to that site. When they click it, they see your picture, your biography, your resume, your list of books, and other experiences. In other words, they get the information they need to determine whether you are an expert or not. The good news here is you can make quick work of developing a solid author brand in your area of expertise. How? You can write tons of books through Outsource. You don't have to lift a finger to write this material. You just hire low-cost, high-volume, high-quality writing services like ozki.org. They would be able to drill down in your narrow expert niche. They crank out book after book all bearing your name. The more books you publish, the bigger of an expert you become. Interestingly enough, the more books you publish, the less promoting you need to do. How come? Your older books have promoted your author website so much that when people join your author website's mailing list, you only need to send out an update telling people that your latest book has arrived for you to rack up quite a bit of sales. In fact, a lot of expert coaches self-publish only using Kindle, yet they make quite a bit of money and are recognized experts in their field. You can do the same. Disadvantages. Please understand that just because you published a book doesn't automatically mean clients will show up. This is especially true if you're just starting out. If you're starting out from square one and nobody has heard of you, you're going to have to do promotions. The good news is the more books you produce and the more you promote them, the easier it would be to drum up attention for your later books. Please understand that you're going to have to spend time, effort, and yes, even money to promote your books. This is not one of those things that you build and all of a sudden demand will show up. It doesn't work that way. You have to put in the time to drive awareness for your books. Also, unless you publish on a grand scale, and I'm talking about releasing a huge number of books in a short period of time, your author profile can take a while to develop. Keep this in mind. This is not something that will happen overnight. Step-by-step -step guide. Step one, focus on a niche. The first thing that you need to do to succeed in coaching through books is laser target niche focusing. In other words, be clear as to what you want to specialize in and focus on that only. Master it. Seek out an area of expertise that is an inch wide, but plunge miles deep. Know it inside and out. This is how you build a solid foundation for your expert brand. The flip side to this, which you also need to pay attention to, is that it has to be in a niche where there is enough demand. Let's be clear. You can be an expert basket weaver. But if nobody is really interested in getting coaching, much less books about basket weaving, you're not going to make any money. Focus on a niche that people would actually pay money for. One way to estimate this is to go to Amazon Kindle and look at the sales rankings of books within a subject category. If you notice that a lot of the books sold that have lower rankings in the top seller lists have scores of sales scores of 10,000 or lower, you are in a high demand niche. This may be a good niche to select. Step two, find your niche on Amazon Kindle. Now that you have a clear understanding of the niche that you want to specialize in, find your niche on Amazon Kindle. 
It has to be there, and it has to have decent demand. Step three, pick a sub-niche that doesn't have much competition. Assuming that there's a lot of competition in your Amazon Kindle niche, feel free to dial down or skip down to a sub-niche. The key here is to look for a sub-niche that doesn't have much competition but still enjoys decent demand. This takes quite a bit of research. You can use tools like KD Spy to find keyword demand patterns on Amazon. Step 4. Focus your book on your target sub-niche. Now that you have identified the sub-niche that you are going to specialize in, sit down and focus your book's firepower on that sub-niche. Demonstrate through your book that you are an expert in that sub-niche. Nail it down. Hammer it. Bring home the point. Step 5. Create a link in your book that highlights your author brand. At the top of your book, you should put a link to your official author website. This official author website is not just your online calling card. It's not just a place to put a nice picture of you. Instead, it highlights why you should be considered an authority. Maybe you should list down the books you publish there. Maybe you should list your awards and accomplishments. Whatever the case may be, it drives home the point that you are worth listening to if people are looking for information in the niches that you cover. Step 6. Find related sub-niches and write a book on that sub-niche. Now that you have written your first book and a sub-niche within your specific field of expertise, now is the time to write your second book. Find a related sub-niche and write a book on that sub-niche. Step 7. Repeat until you have covered your whole niche. By this point, you have chopped up your field of expertise into different sub-niches. You've also written a specific book for each of those sub-niches. Keep repeating the process until you have covered your whole niche. Step 8. Write more books to drill down your expertise and your niches. Within this niche, you already have one book covering sub-niches. At this point, you should drill down. What other topics within your sub-niche haven't you talked about before? Write specific books on these. In other words, don't leave any stone unturned. Don't leave any issues unexplored. Allow your author name to be found with all keywords related to your niche. This is how you develop a niche focus that is an inch wide but miles deep. Every mile down is a book and every quarter or eighth of an inch is a sub-niche that you have a specific book on. Eventually, when people find themselves on Amazon looking through books related to your niche, they will always keep running into your author brand. It's only a matter of time until they click on the author profile and they end up on your author page where you list your credentials. Regardless, thanks to this constant branding, chances are you will be recognized by your book's buyers as a bona fide expert within your areas of expertise.